Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Metroid Fusion. Now, where we last left off, we just entered a watery area of Sector 4. So let's get to it. And look at this. There's a little hole right here we can go through. So we already got another Power Bomb expansion right at the beginning of the video. We want to go ahead and go through this the through this floor. Try and work our way through these enemies here. Get ourselves a missile tank at the end of this hallway. Get out of here so we don't have to put up with these guys. Ow. I'm recording this pretty late at night, so my vision might get a little blurry. We want to go ahead and plant a power bomb. There'll be some missile blocks up here, because we have to go this way. And there's also a power bomb tank right here. Not much else to really be said about this. I mean, just kind of go along the path that I'm going here. Because, I mean, you have to go this way. Why? Because the normal path down below has a red door, so, and we can't do anything about red doors yet. Go ahead and open up that. Go through right here, this invisible hole. Go ahead and lay another power bomb. And fall down here. And what do we have here? The lock to the level 4 doors. So now we can open red hatches. All the types of hatches are now openable. If that's probably a word. First stop. There's a little hole right here. Now, here's how you want to do this room. What I like to do, I like to lay a power bomb right here. Get it up here. That way I don't absorb any of the X, because you don't want to. And it'll spawn two of these golden crab guys. And once you kill them, then this door opens. Lay another power bomb. Make this quicker. And we got another E tank. Huzzah! All right. It's nice to go through red doors now. Okay, now we want to head this way. With the Mermaidian Mermaidi Zabesians. Let's just call them Swimming Zabesians. That actually just sounds better. There's a missile tank down here below that uh, uh, walkway right here. Making good progress. Now this is where things can get a little tricky. Here's a safe station right there. Want to freeze that guy. That way we can go through here. Now we're going to want to speed boost this way. And you're going to have to time your jump right, because we're going to have to break through that guy. That way we can get this missile tank. Kind of got it early, so that saves us a little bit of time. And then we need to speed boost back. Ah, I missed it. Alright. I got it this time. Pow. Alright then. Then we want to speed boost again. And there's a hole in the ceiling right here that we want to shine spark through. So we can get another power bomb tank. 
Now we just gotta head up here. Sniff a lock. Crawl our way through. Go ahead and lay a power bomb. And there's a data room below us. So let's go in here. And we get... The diffusion missiles. We can now charge our missiles by holding R and fire them with B. See, basically what this does is that it spreads our freezing effect. Like so. And that counts as a missile attack. So it will break missile block in odd places that you can't normally hit. There's a missile tank right here we want to get. And we want to head up here. But we don't want to head to the navigation room just yet. If I can just... Alright. Sometimes space jump, this doesn't like to cooperate with you, if you know what I mean. Okay. want to go through here. Go through here. Go ahead and lay a power bomb. And we'll get another power bomb tank. And if we look at our map, we see a E tank missile and power bomb checked. That means we've gotten every single power up here in sector four. So we know sector four is clear. Now we just need to worry about the other sectors as well as the main deck. Well, we're at the navigation room now. You upgraded your missiles? That's unusual. There was no word from HQ a procedural error, I'm sure. Even so, I did not approve of bypassing security level 4. From now on, you'll have to use more discretion. In any case, Samus, do you remember, remember the security robot you faced earlier? I believe the X infected it. Oh, great. That is to say, they have claim to the organic components that form the neutral network. Neural network. Boy, I can read. It has entered Sector 6. I don't know what it's playing, but let's not wait to find out. Samus, you know what to do. Alright then. So let's head to Sector 6, and we're going to take this guy out. To Sector 6. Quickly! Make haste! Post haste to yonder breaks. I have no idea what that even means. Well, now we're back in sector six. So, let's stop by the navigation room. That was okay. The security robot seems to have gotten much stronger. This worries me. Be careful. But we have another problem. Once you're done, leave Knock immediately. The Saw X is tracking you. Well, that's very, reassur that's very reassuring. Like, I don't have enough problems as it is. Thanks. Make this a little quicker. At least the plasma beam makes these guys look easy. Ow. I, I still hate the puffers. I forgot what they're called. Preeds? Yeah, they're called Preeds. Well, I mean, in Metroid Prime, they're called Preeds, so... I would assume that's what they're called here. Alright. Now, there's this door we haven't gone through yet. This is where we need to go. We want to lay a power bomb. That way we can break this wall. So we can move forward. And there's a red door here, so even if you have the power bombs, you couldn't go through here anyway. There was an item I just passed, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. So let's just go this way. This is the only way we can go. Wait. What? Keep out? Warning. No entry oh. without authorization. Well, Warning. nothing no we can do here. Without authorization. 
Why is that door there? I wonder. I just heard some rumbling. The security robot must be closed. Well, now it's time for round two. Now, how you want to fight this guy is whenever he shoots missiles, you just want to fire your beam and to destroy them. Whenever he jumps, you just want to kind of move away because he can jump high enough to the point that he will knock you into the water. And since he has messed up legs, it's electrocuting the water, so he'll take damage when he falls into the water. Basically, you just want to make him jump, and then you want to move back and fire two missiles at him. Because two missiles is the only is is like you're only going to get enough time to get two missiles in on the guy. Assuming if you're quick, because I mean I'm getting one right now, so I guess I'm kind of not being fast enough. Yeah, but two the, two missiles is kind of like the max you can get on him in one go. And there we go. Time to take out this Corex. And it's a beam Corex, mind you. I don't know I don't know about this, but I don't know if the diffusion missiles makes uh, your missiles stronger when they're charged. But in any case. We now have the wave beam. Beam now penetrates walls. So see this? Our beam is now OP as hell. Warning. This has to be probably the biggest beam I've ever seen in a Metroid game. But yeah, as you can see, we can use our new wave beam that we just got to get ourselves a missile tank. Like seriously, this, fam this beam is like freaking huge. It's not even right. Like freaking... More like the triple helix beam. Like Jesus Christ. Anyway. Authorize that. Restricted zone. Level X. Where the hell are we? What the hell? Don't tell me. Have they been breeding Metroids? Whoa! What the heck? Did they break free or? It's the Saw X! Wait. Oh, well, sucks for him. Oh crap! We gotta get out of here. Come on, Space Jump, work with me here. Okay, I want to know what the hell just happened. Samus, you shouldn't have done that. You ignored your orders. You have to pay a price for that quite soon. <coughs> As you can see, the Federation has been secretly working on a Metroid breeding program. Uh, yeah, that's a no-no. For peaceful application only, of course. Please understand. But perhaps you already knew this program's existence. Certainly you must have you must have had doubts when you saw Sector 1. SRX is a faithful replica of SR388 ecosystem. Ideal for raising Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, and even Omega Metroids. This research even uncovered techniques for rapid growth. Imagine creating an Omega from a larval Metroid in days. But that research is finished. The X has smelled out its natural enemy, and one of the Saw X is on its way here. One? Are you saying there's more than one Saw X? Don't be surprised, Samus. You know that the X reproduced by asexual division. Because of this mechanism, there are now no fewer than ten Saw X aboard the station. Samus, you must go. Get out. If you stay too long, the Saw X will destroy you. Stop only at a navigation room to uplink to me. I don't know how HQ is going to take this, but you need to report to them immediately. Now get going. Man, this is some... 
This is some heavy crap. The real Adam would have said the same thing about that incident, but he would have softened the blow. He was relentless in his criticism, but he always cared. He was not a machine obsessed with duty. No such compassion could exist in that computer. Now we're suddenly in Sector 1. Based on this music, I'd say stuff's getting down for real. Let's fire a diffusion missile here. That way we can get ourselves an energy tank. Since we're pretty much at the time limit, I'm going to have to cut it here. Sorry to cut everyone off when stuff's getting intense. But, I will see you guys next time. And this is where it gets awesome. See ya!